What up, everybody? It's your boy, Bacardi, a.k.a. Get At This, Jason Gray 503 at social media. All right, this is a one-on-one -on -one match from a while back, myself versus Lost Souls. So Lost Souls is typically an imp and titan guy, although he will bring uh, a couple of disruptors, maybe like a four or five red. So he's bottom right. He should be taking advantage of the economy down there and the fast expansion, which... One way to do that, in a common way, is to send big imp, and then you know units after that get me to spend this tib here first. Have to expand down there, have my base more spread out, and he could beat me to middle as well. So, so we have going on there. I'm building out the imp rush. Let's fast forward for you guys. So I'm sending here at two and a half refs. It looks like usually at between two and two and a half refs is when I like to send just to put pressure on in case someone is um, you know, doing a one ref or two ref as well as you know, dictate the pace here and get a scout on. Fast forward a little more. So he's got a good amount of infantry coming up. I'm going to keep this third ref as long as I can, see if it helps me with my economy. And, oh man, I almost lost my inf there. Don't do that. And, you know, when you need it, sell it, but every extra dump helps. So here, I could try and ambush him, you know, if he's not paying attention, which it looks like I'm going to do. Okay, so he's paying attention, which is good by him. That's the worst, is when you're chasing, you're not watching, or you take your eye off for a second, and they ambush you. So here, he did a poor job of anti-scouting once he sent his in. A lot of people do that, so you can... Hang a couple infantry around their base. As soon as they send out, you can usually sneak in. So here you don't want to let them have the top cliff, really, is a good strategy, which I'm running inside. I don't know if I like that. I need to bring my discman to the back. It's bad that I have some of them in the front, so... You know, while I had more and I win this engagement, it was, oh, well, it looks like I'm going to win this engagement. Oh, no, see, I didn't. Poor setup. So, put your infantry in the back, always. Let them come to you, surround them. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but now I'm fully scouted, and I could have easily won that I got no scouts in. And maybe I'm more left over to send more pressure. So, I see his base. It's fully open, so I'm going to try and slow him down by shooting his power plant. He might not scout this area, so get the tech down there. Maybe surprise him with some tech units. Alright, so I got decent economy. I'm gonna send down here. He just now put his radar up, so he must put 5 ref in. He needs to control his harvest on the closer tip, but when you're in a lot of action like that, it's hard to control everything. As you see me here controlling, going to the close tib and the tib that regenerates. So I'm building three disruptors, knowing that he's going to bunk, and just come down there and try and KO him right away. Looks like that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to name two of them the same number, and then the third one I'll name a different number. And, you know, being patient like this also gives time for my Titans to come down there, which they put my Hurt one in the back. It's probably not going to be the most effective attack with the Titans, but if it draws his away, or if he goes for the Dissers, then three Titans will be effective. Now, I could do several different things here as I'm sending this attack. I could build an EMP, knowing that if I don't get everything, he's going to counter with a lot of Titans. Or, I can go, you know, Bomber and Economy. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not Bomber and Economy like I'm doing, so I better get this KO. I'd probably rather go Economy, no Bomber. Or EMP. But I'm going to land these in good spots here. Looks like I'm going to get the KO. Let's see. Eh. No way. Wow. That was bad. Let's go back to that for a second, guys, since this is details. So we're coming down to his base. Let's see where that was. Okay. So he's got two RPGs, a crap ton of Titans, and one he needs to control his horrors, but he's busy expecting this attack to come. So 
So if it doesn't look like there's any openings or something for the taking, don't get greedy and just go for something anyways. Like, you have to be smart the whole time. So if this is a base and you have three disruptors, what can you get? Not a, not a whole lot here. You can definitely get the MCV like I did. So that's one thing. But now you have to deal with this counterattack. It's going to take a long time for him to run out of the tib. Um, and small chance he was teched, but I don't think he was. So I can get the MCV with two of them and save one for later maybe. Um, or put two here, one here. So take out his MCV and his power plant. Going for this War Factory was just greedy because he's got the RPGs there and so many Titans. So that third one should have been dropped back here. Take out the power plant and then save it to pressure. So MCV, power plant would have been fine. Dropping there is just suicidal. So do as I say, not as I do. And now I have one bomber, but the economy's hurting. And he's going to send all those Titans. And it takes a long time for that tip to run out. So this is where probably should have went EMP. So here's a question for you. With this bomber, would you go bomb him right now and hope it reloads? Or would you wait for all those Titans to group up near your base and bomb them? So, you know, if his, t if his Titans were super spread down there... Uh, then you might just wait and save the bomber, but since they're relatively grouped, go ahead and attack them now is a good idea. And then you get some time to reload. So here, service. I mean, what am I going to do with that service? He's going to shoot it from the cliff and not going to be repairing anything anytime soon, so might as well sell that. So the trick here is obviously RPG it up, but stay behind or next to your RPGs. It's so easy to be drawn out by your unit's attacking his and he backs up and then you're outside of your RPG range and he just runs through you. So here I'm deciding to kill the inf so there's no fodder on the RPG. Hmm, maybe it's okay. There's a lot of Titans. So what he wants to do is he does not want to dance around. I had six Titans, two RPGs. He had so many Titans. He might have been better off just coming on in. Uh, that's a question for you guys. If you were him, with the six Titans I had, those two RPGs, a little bit of infantry, would you have just came right in the base? Or would you have went the backside? So here I'm just trying to stay back behind the RPG. He should be hitting the RPG first. The RPG is just so strong. So at this point, he's still got the pressure on me because his tib is still close to his refs and he's got enough harps and he had a head start with units. But now that I've got the RPGs, one bomber and you know able to catch up, it's not that big of a deal. And because he's pausing and spreading out trying to build a massive force because the uh, medium force didn't work. I have time to build the EMP. Surprise it was able to fend off these that amount of Titans. So I think that is the question. We can go back to it in a minute. Is should, well, we'll find out how it looks when he comes to the front here now with this group. One bomber, six titan. Yeah, just RPGs and a couple RPGs and some titans, man. Just own big groups of titans. And now he has no chance of winning. So he's got that to take out my... So I thought he was going to take a guy my EMP with those orcas, which would have been more helpful for him than trying to take out a ref, but... Pilot 
I don't even need the EMP at this point. And that's it, boys and girls. So, let's go back. Get the back side there. So there's a little bit of infantry. I have five, six titans, a bomber, two RPGs. I would have put another one there if he came there. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven titans. Yeah, the front would have got eaten up too just because RPGs are so strong. Twelve, thirteen. Yeah, he's got 13 Titans, maybe not 14. What do you guys think? 14 Titans versus 6 and 2 RPGs and a bomber? Well, 3 RPGs. Yeah, I think they would have got killed either way. Um, in the beginning of the game, I think he could have done better with his infantry. I could have done better with mine, of course, too, but when he was up here and I went down, he could have... I mean, he did find his infantry, I guess, but he could have shot his discipline from there. He could have kept his uh, light infantry near the opening, kill my inf, and then use the discipline on the cliff. That's always hard to stop and very annoying. I mean, his imp did fine. Did he have an engineer down here when we attack with Dizzers? Probably not. So you always have to have at least one engineer. Most people put one behind their MCV and number it, right? So I number mine, number four, but because I don't use four for anything else. But you know, if he has an uh, engineer behind here, everything else is set up pretty well, right? Two RPGs, uh, a SAM, that's a good setup for countering early dissers. Um, he would have he saved this just fine, I think. Let's see. Yeah, easily. So if you would add an engineer there, I would have got nothing. Again, I could have put three on there if I saw that and wanted to get his MCV that bad. Alright guys, well, have an engineer on defense. That's probably the moral of the story. And then make sure when you're attacking you are ready and anticipating the counterattack. Which... You know, just going to RPG Heaven here is what I did. And control your harvesters too. And join me in the next details.